Hello YouTube and welcome to another virtualization tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to extract the content from virtual disk or what we call VMDK files. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, let me just log on to my host here. So I will use my uh, default credentials. Here we go. <coughs> and I'm gonna show you a couple of uh, virtual machines that I have and that are running. So for example, here you can see I have a Windows machine, Windows 7 machine, okay. It's running and it has, for example, some data on it. So here I have put here a text file, recover me, that contains just please recover me text. And let's say for a reason or another, this virtual machine won't start, but you need actually to extract the data from it. For example, I want to extract this file from this virtual machine. So how can we do that? Okay. So let me first show you the data store. So as you may know, when you create actually a virtual machine, it creates by default a folder to this virtual machine. So if I go, for example, here to my data store browser, you can see that I have a folder for each virtual machine that I have. Okay. And especially for the one that I have shown you, which is Windows 7. Okay. So here you can see the different files related to this virtual machine. But the most important one is this file here dot vmdk. Okay. So as you can see here, it has size about 15 gigabytes. So this is our virtual disk. Okay. So we need actually to extract it or extract the content from this disk. Okay. So as you can see here, there are a couple of uh, options here. One of them is actually to download this disk. So if I click on this download here button, you can see that all I get actually is a file here. Okay, so as you can see here, the file that I have downloaded is this one, but it has a smaller size. So the size here, as you can see, is 447 bytes, and it's not actually the 15 gigabyte that we have shown you in the data store browser. So if we open it using, for example, Notepad, you can see it's actually what we call a descriptor file which contains just some info about the disk like geometry and other parameters here as you can see so this file doesn't actually contains our data okay so we need another tool in order to extract the data file okay shown here in the data store browser okay So let me show you once again. So this is this file which has a size of 15 gigabytes. So how can we do that? So simple, we need another program. For example, you can use WinSCOPY, which is a free software you can download from the internet. And I'm gonna connect to actually to my ESXi host with hash this IP address. And of course you have to enable first SSH in your host. So here you have to go to your host and actions and enable service. So me, I already done that. This is why it's showing me disable this time, not enable. Okay. So now I'm ready to actually log on to the host. So let me log on to the host. Here we go. And if I go to this directory here, so let me show you where it comes from. So actually you go to your root, okay, or slash, then VMS, then under it you see folder volumes, okay. 
and here is my data store data store one it's shortcut and inside it you will find a directory for each actually vm that you have so as i told you we want to download the vmtk file related to windows 7 so we must enter this windows 7 folder and here is our file so this time you can see it has shown me two files so the first one that they have downloaded from the browser which is this descriptor file okay and the most important one which contains the data is this one it has added slash or actually dash flat dot vmtk and it has a size of 15 gigabytes so we're gonna actually download this file okay or you can put it whenever you want for example let me put it in this folder on my desktop but as you can see i cannot do that simply because it's been used by my hosts so i have to return back to the host and shut down the machine okay so let me shut down the machine so as i told you this procedure is actually very useful in case of the machine won't start which means it's uh, already shut down okay so we'll wait for the machine to be shut down okay then we return back to our win s copy and try to download the desk or virtual desk actually here we go so the machine has been shut down so let me return back to the and try once again and here we go now you can see that the file has been downloaded it's uh, 15 uh, gigabytes so it will take some time so we will wait for it to be downloaded then we will proceed okay now the file has been downloaded to our folder here okay so as you can see here at the bottom this is our flat file which has the size of 15 gigabytes okay so now in order to actually read the content of this file it's pretty pretty easy all you have to do is to open your browser and download a software called 7-zip it actually can read the archives and it's free okay so the address is 7 ziporg slash download okay so here you will find all the version related to your system so we are using Windows so we have to download this 64-bit uh, version okay so after the download of this uh, program which actually is very pretty famous we open our folder which contains the file so as you can see here this is our file so let me uh, show you that so this is our file so you right click on it and you choose 7-zip then you go to this open archive okay in order to open it using 7-zip here we go so now this is our 7-zip so it shows us different files and one of them is actually this one here which contains 15 gigabytes so you click on it and you right click on it actually and you open it okay et voila et voila you can now see the content of the vmtk file so let's uh, actually recover the file that we have put in our desktop so if i go to the folder users i mean uh, desktop so all is does it in windows 7 so you can see that we have found the file that we have put on our desktop 
I can even uh, open it so you can see the famous phrase please recover me of course you can extract it if you want to any folder you want and this is the easiest way to read the content of the virtual desk from the ESXi host okay so the main here program to open is actually the 7-zip so that was just a quick video to show you how to extract the content from the vmdk files of actually an ESXi host as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye